please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Electoral bonds are here. The government has notified the rules to pave the way for new instrument hoping to enhance transparency in political funding. So here is how they work. These bonds will be interest-free and will carry a validity of 15 days. They will be sold at select branches of State Bank of India and the payment will be made only through bank accounts. Okay, well, the donor must comply with the know your customer norms of the bank, but here's the kicker. The donor will remain anonymous. So the big question is, how can anonymity increase transparency? It's no secret that India lacks transparency in political funding. According to a report by the Association for Democratic Reforms, India is among the 20% of democratic countries that allows anonymous political donations. Well, not just that, 60 to around 80% of all political donations in India are made by cash and by unknown sources. Kevin Lee is here to explain how these electoral bonds will bring about some big changes to political funding rules in India. Kevin, over to you. Well, the electoral bond system will bring four big changes to the current system of political funding in India. Firstly, the cap on the amount of money a corporate can donate to political parties will be removed. Remember, earlier companies could only donate up to 7.5% of the average of their net profits over the last three years, but an amendment to the finance bill has removed this restriction. Secondly, companies that have existed for less than three years will also be allowed to make donations to political parties. Companies donating money via electoral bond will no longer need to disclose which political party they are donating funds to. The electoral bonds will not need to carry the name of the payee, which means that companies can make anonymous donations through these bonds. Of course, the finance minister has clarified that the SBI will have to check the KYC norms of the donor before accepting these, uh, before buying these bonds. And similarly, a political party receiving donations through these bonds will not have to reveal the source of these donations either, so they'll be anonymous on both those fronts. Okay, well, so why should the donor remain anonymous? Here is the finance minister, Arun Jaitley's rationale on the same. Which donor gave how much to a political party will not be told. Once that is told and that identity is known, then past experience has shown, as in the case of check donations, that people <coughs> are reluctant to disclose how much they gave to each of the political parties. Then people will again go back and prefer to give by cash rather than allow clean money. But you said you came the by existing system. statement, existing system, let us see, is a system where there is unclean money and there is no transparency. The new system being introduced will be clean money and a substantial amount of transparency, if not a total amount of it. Well, we spoke to a whole host of experts on this particular issue. Let's hear out what they had to say. This is a revolutionary move. I mean, uh, aimed only at one thing, that is transparency, and also to, to clean election financing. That's, that's the whole idea. And uh, in terms of, you know, that why don't you go on the rooftop and disclose the name of the, uh, you know, donor? Uh, look, here we are not talking. So you only have corporates in mind. Why are we focusing only on body corporates and crony corp capitalism? The problem is that here we are trying to basically bring a new culture, an absolutely new culture. It's a, it's a first major step in that direction. We have to take it with that. This is going to be seen as a big win for public transparency, which is it, it is not. And it's going to actually take the pressure off this government and future governments to take real action. I mean, uh, real action would be let's let's say that any political donation, whether it's one rupee, 10,000 rupees, 10,000 crores, should be made public and let the voter use that information. I don't understand why the government feels it's its concern to protect corporate secrecy. I mean, why do corporates want that secrecy? Because they're afraid of the arbitrary, discretionary ways in which government uses power. Fix the independence of the CBI. Fix the vestiges of the license raj. Make it easy to, to do business and not have uh, arbitrary uh, power exercised by bureaucrats and politicians. That's really at the heart of this problem. Uh, and once you get that, corporates will be happy to give above board. But we're not dealing with those issues. We're in, in, instead trying to, to legitimize opacity, which I think is the wrong way to move. 